Hey guys, it's Logan again. Today I'll be sharing with you my top ultimate favorites of the year 2014. There's some skincare things, makeup things, fragrance things. There's just a mix between everything. So here we go. These are the Physicians Formula Matte Collection Quad Eyeshadows. These are the best drugstore matte eyeshadows out there like there is nothing that can beat these quads this one is canyon classics and this quad is more of a natural type of nude shade it goes from really dark grayish browns to a white the one in the middle is called quartz quartet it is more of a purple based collection and this one is classic nudes the name says it all it's classic nudes they are so pigmented so creamy these are the perfect crease blending shades. I just cannot even tell you how creamy and buttery these pigments are. You can tell I'm hardly tapping into this eyeshadow, just lightly pressing, and look at the pigmentation that comes out of that. Like, I can't, I, wow, no words. It is just so pretty, and I, I am blown away by Physicians Formula products all the time, but this has got to be the best thing they have ever 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 come out with it's and amazing super affordable seven dollars at the drugstore and physicians formula is always on sale at the drugstore so totally worth it get yourself some you will not regret it and i will not stop raving about these a favorite product of mine to help remove makeup are these epiel cleansing tissues i've been raving about this for a long time as well. This is the cucumber one, and I like this one more than all the other ones. They have so many different ones. They have an aloe one, they have some citrusy ones, but this one's my favorite. This is the older packaging. It's like a shiny plastic. The newer packaging is so cute. It's like a, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of the same, but it's not as shiny. It's more like a papery kind of thing. This smells amazing. It gets the job done. The best thing, it's only one dollar go to big lots you will find these these are amazing you guys know how much i love the freeman's feeling beautiful mask line and i love the peel off mask especially the cucumber one i don't have that particular one with me even though that one is my all-time favorite but i have these two and this is the clay mask in chocolate and strawberry it smells divine this one is the charcoal and black sugar mask and this is like deep cleansing these face products are just amazing i personally prefer the peel off mask because there is no hassle to them these type of masks you have to wash them off and it kind of just gets everywhere but the peel off mask you put it on your face you wait for it to dry you peel it off that's it no hassle no washing up for someone lazy like me that's the perfect type of product treat yourself to a nice spa day with your girlfriends a favorite hair product of mine has been the Ion Color Brilliance Temporary Hair Colors. I have so many of them. I like to buy these because these are temporary so they don't really do much damage to your hair. But I mean, I bleach my hair so uh, that's quite a lot of damage. So when I like to do crazy colors, I like doing temporary. And I honestly don't think there is permanent crazy hair colors other than red. But I have a lilac here, I have a dark purple here, I have a red, and then I have a mint. And a little sneak peek for you guys, the next hair color I'm going to be doing. Woo! I'm so excited, but I honestly don't think I'm going to be doing my whole head because I think that's a little much. So, I don't know, maybe I'll do an ombre. We'll just see. I will definitely be filming it so you guys can see my little hair journey again like I always do. But this particular brand I have been loving. I highly recommend it. You can find it at your local beauty hair supply store. Something I use to help my eyebrows stay on point is this NYX Auto Eyebrow Pencil. It's kind of hard to match your brows to when you do crazy hair colors. Like right now my hair is like a platinum-y silver color color it was a mint it was an aqua it was purple it was red and I feel like this color 
has matched everything. And I know these brows seem a little dark for my hair color right now, but it, it doesn't look bad, right? And this is in the color, what is it? What are you? Dark brown. And it's just amazing. I've lost the cap, which sucks. But there is a spoolie end. I can actually use this as the cap. It just makes the end look a little odd. But I mean, whatever. But it has a spoolie end and then it's a twist up I have been liking a straighter brow. I've decided that an arch is something that does not really look good on my face. It doesn't really suit my face shape. So I have been enjoying this eyebrow pencil. It's great, affordable, NYX is amazing. This is the Carmex Original Moisturizing Lip Balm. It smells like medicated <laughs> things but you just can't go wrong with this it just moisturizes your lips it has that mintiness so it feels like it's hydrating your lips this is somebody just texted me oh i'm so popular not really i have some makeup brush favorites one is this gigantic eco tools brush this is the face and body sculpting brush and this is around maybe 12 dollars this covers your face so quickly you could be done with powder foundation in five seconds like bam 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 da done if you're looking for a brush that helps you get out the door quick this is something for you and it's so soft it's such a soft brush and you just put it all over your face and it feels so good it lasts a long time i've had this for maybe a year and a half pretty good brush and then I have two eyeshadow brushes, and they are both from Soho. I don't know if they sell these particular brushes anymore. And the handle on this brush, I don't know if you can see, it has like a triangle shape to it. So it's aerodynamical shape to them, so you can fit your hand perfectly, so it's easier to hold. Now, this one is an angled eyeshadow brush, and I mainly use it for blending on my crease. And it's amazing. It's super fluffy, not super dense. It's like lightly packed, and it's so so soft now this is what i use right underneath my brow for highlighting and right in the inner corner to also highlight that area super soft i hope they sell this if they do i will link it down in the description i love felt tip liners more than anything and this has been a favorite of mine along with the jordana fabu liner i don't have that with me right now because I've been using this and it's kind of pointless to have more than one liner because they dry out pretty quickly. But this one is amazing. It's super thin lines. You could do super thick lines. They are just super pigmented, so affordable. This is like $3. This is from NYC. It's the Hot Definition Liquid Liner. It's amazing. There's nothing more I can say about it. It's a great eyeliner. My last beauty favorite of 2014 is something that has been well loved look at this this is the rimmel london stay matte pressed powder i have hit pan this is my second pressed powder from rimmel london and my shade is in 004 sandstorm i just keep repurchasing this particular item because it's such an amazing product it is super soft and it's just it's so finely milled it makes your skin feel baby smooth it is an amazing product I highly, highly recommend this press powder, and it's so affordable at your drugstore. That has been my beauty favorites of 2014. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully there is something in this video that you guys have found interesting and you guys will try out because I personally recommend them to all of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had a wonderful year of 2014, and 2015 will be even better. So I will see you guys then. I love you guys so much. Bye! Happy New Year!